you Splash Studio Online. My name is Sarah. I'm going to be your artist today and I'm going to walk you step by step through this painting. It's called Lady in Red. As you can see, it's a really cute little ladybug. Uh, so we're going to try our best to duplicate this. If you want to do your own thing, feel free to do your own thing. If you don't want to follow me, that's totally okay. But if you want to do a ladybug today, that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, so with your kits, you should have canvas, you should have paint, and you should have brushes. Uh, the paint you're going to want to put on your palette, whatever size that you got. You should have gotten a roll of brushes. You can unroll them. You're going to want to keep this rag nearby because this will, um, we will use as we dry off our brush throughout when we're mixing different colors of paint. Uh, then we got our four brushes. So we got our large flat brush, looks like this guy, our small flat brush, our large round brush, and then our small little guy, um, we like to call the detail brush. Uh, so one thing I would recommend when painting with acrylic paint is to keep all your brushes in your water cup brushed down. All right, so we are getting ready to get started. So we're gonna start with the background. So the background is kind of a mix of some sky colors with some green. So it kind of looks like it's um, on top of some grass. So we're gonna use the large flat brush for this. That's this bad boy right here. I'm gonna to mix together a nice light blue. So that's just blue and white mixed together. And then we're gonna add a lot of texture. So when we're painting, we're gonna create a lot of X's, shapes, a lot of craziness. So I'm gonna go ahead and just create a whole bunch of texture with my light blue. And as you can see, there's a lot of kind of like dry brush stuff going on. So if you actually just make sure your brush stays wet. It will help the paint spread a lot more, as you can see. So before this dries, we're actually going to add paint right on top of it. So I'm going to rinse this out. And then I want to throw in just some greens so it kind of looks like it's in the grass. So I'm going to use that large flat brush still. I just got a little wet. Go ahead and add some green paint onto your brush. Um, some nice white kind of poking through without there and then a little bit of just some regular blue so it looks like our main colors that we're focusing in on is white blue and green so you can kind of keep playing with that um, those three colors adding texture into the sky into our background um, until you're until you really like what your background is looking like and then you can stop
so as you can see here, just playing around with the three different colors. We got blue, we got uh, white, and then we got green. And then even this kind of light blue, which is still part of the three colors. So just kind of playing around with those, adding in a lot of texture uh, to kind of create this background. So once, again, once you get to a point where you're like, yeah, that's looking pretty good, you can go ahead and stop. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a break, a nice five minute break to let the entire background dry. If you want to paint your edges, now would be the time to paint your edges. So you can pick up your canvas and you can paint all along all the sides. I personally usually paint black on my edges to kind of look like the frame, but it's totally up to you. You don't have to paint your edges if you don't want to. So again, we're going to take about a five minute break. We want to let all of this dry before we come back in. The next step would be putting on the nice um, really nice dark bluish green leaf right there. So that's going to be our next step when we come back. So all you have to do is hit pause on your screen, let your um, painting dry, and then when we come back, we'll continue on. We are continuing on with our lady in red. So the next step that we're going to do is focus in on this big leaf uh, that the ladybug is just chilling on. So this is a really nice vibrant green. So to get this vibrant green, um, you're going to want to use your large flat brush again. And you're going to want to mix together blue with some yellow, which I already mixed, pre-mixed for you guys while I was waiting for the paint to dry. So again, it's just blue and yellow, and that's going to get you a really nice vibrant green. And then all I'm going to do is kind of make two curved lines. I want this one kind of curved this way, and then this one kind of curved that way. So I'm going to start right around here and kind of just naturally let my arm kind of flow. It's going to create a natural curve. Okay, that looks pretty good for that side. And then I want to get um, one side on this way. So a pair of going like this. That looks pretty good. And then all you want to do is just paint it in. Alright, so that's definitely going to need a second coat, so we'll come back to that and add in um, another coat of that so that way you can't see the background, because right now you can see a little bit too much of the background and don't really like that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and grab more paint uh, to do that second coat. So go ahead and if you have paint, which I'm sure you do, feel free to keep applying so that way you don't see the background sticking through. If you're still going and you're like, man, I can still see the background is still really frustrating, let it completely dry and then we'll do another coat. That's going to help um, versus wet paint onto wet paint onto wet paint. Uh, you'll be here all day and then you'll still be able to see the background so you don't want that. So we're going to go ahead and take a five minute break. I'm going to get more paint. I'm going to try to fill this in again. Uh, so the goal is to get it to be pretty solid. You don't want to be able to see the background. So go ahead and hit pause right there on the screen. and 
then I did a second coat on my leaf, so that way you can't really see the background as much, which is what we wanted. Um, so hopefully you are to the same point as me. If not, go ahead and catch up, because uh, we're gonna take another break, and what we wanna do is we want this whole thing to dry before we move on. So if you can still see your background, make sure you keep uh, layering um, with some green paint on here. And then when we come back, we're gonna go ahead and start focusing in on the ladybug, which is very exciting. the shape of the body is going to go um, before I can go in and do some details on the um, leaf here and then I'll go in and do details on the ladybug but I kind of want to sketch out where the ladybug is going to be. So I'm going to switch to my large round brush it looks like this guy right here. I think I want to start off with the face part kind of these two parts of the ladybug so I'm just going to use black paint so black paint and my large brown brush. And then I'm gonna go ahead and kind of figure out where I want these two parts. So I'm up here at the top of my leaf. And let's see, so it looks like the top of the face is kind of coming off the leaf like that. And it's just kind of like a square with some curved edges. I'm gonna say it's gonna go to right about maybe right here. And it's better if it's a little bit smaller originally, and then you can kind of make it a little bit bigger as you sketch out. That's a lot easier than going for something that's too big and trying to figure out how to make it smaller. Okay, so let's see. So again, that might be a little on the small side, but we'll we'll see when we keep sketching out. So the next part, um, it kind of just comes out to a point and then goes back in. So that's this next weird shape. So after this shape, we have this guy. And it's kind of doing a point like that. And then this one looks like it's a little bit longer. Something kind of like that. So the portions are okay. I'm going to make this guy just a little bit bigger. your brush really good. Kind of dry it off. Now what we're going to do for the shape of the body part for the ladybug, we're actually going to start in white just because we have such a dark background. We're going to paint it all in white and then do the reds on top of it. So I'm just going to grab some white paint. And I just kind of want to figure out again the shape. So for lines, I have these, I'm gonna focus in on this one right here. Again, it's a slight kind of curve, um, with a slight curve instead of such a point edge, it's slightly curved. And my green is still a little wet, but that's okay. And then I just want my arm to do that natural curve and kind of go back this way. Okay, that looks good. 
that's pretty good. And then I just kind of want to curve this part right here. Alright, she's looking a little thin, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of thicken up a little bit. So now I have the basic shape of my ladybug. Before I go ahead and actually paint this in, while I can still see and still access uh, my leaf here, I'm gonna add in some fun designs on my leaf um, before I continue on with this. So I'm gonna keep using that large round brush. And it looks like um, the pieces that you can kind of see within the leaf right here, these kind of like veins, these lines coming in and out. Um, looks like that's more of like a light green. So you can take that blue and yellow mixture and you can add a little bit more yellow and then a little bit of light, uh, white to make it a little bit lighter. So you can see right here, getting this really pretty uh, vibrant light green. So if I was the middle of the leaf, I would probably be right around here. So you want to pick up your brush where the ladybug's going to be, and then continue on where that part continues on. And then you're just creating some lines kind of coming off. I would have another one that kind of comes out from here. I wouldn't really be able to see any up here, so those are totally fine. And then you kind of pretend that some lines are gonna, you can kind of imagine where some lines might come out over here. Okay, so that is the base for the lines, and then I don't know if you can see it kind of up close. Let's see how close I can get. Ooh. All right, so you can kind of see here, so we have that nice lime green going in. So it actually has a line of blue as like the shadow, and then some black as more shadow, and then it has white uh, just to do a highlight on top of these type of like veins kind of coming in throughout the leaf. So that's what we're gonna focus in on now. So for all those little details, I'm gonna use that small detail brush. So it's gonna be this guy right here. And let's see, I'm gonna start just with the solid blue. So I did my blue line, 
right, next thing I want to do is the black one. So now we're not going to do everywhere I put the blue line, I'm going to put the black line, otherwise they get you know, sun, so I would do both on top of each other. So we're going to use black a little bit more sparingly. So I'll do black and then this one. But then I want to have some on the main one right here. That's pretty good. So my black lines are complete. Now we just need to do the white lines. You want to rinse out your brush. Just use white paint. And again, you don't want to cover every single line. You just want to do some here and there. So we'll do like one right here. We'll do one on the main one. So now that I have all the details on my lead, uh, what I can do now is I can go back to my ladybug sketch and I can actually paint it all in now. So it doesn't really matter what brush that you use for this, I just recommend um, one of the larger brushes. So the last thing I want to do before I take one more break to let everything dry is I'm going to go ahead and put in like the different legs um, coming out from the ladybug and the little antennas. Um, so I'm still going to use my large round brush, just black paint. Um, I want to make sure that I do this first leg kind of up front here. So it's kind of thick, kind of like that sticking out from the shell. So it's like one little piece and then it's a couple thin lines. So this will be a thinner line right here. It's gonna go up. Kind of like that. And then we have another part that goes over like this. That's one, it looks like the next one you can really see is this little guy right here. 
So again, just creating a small line, kind of coming off the shell. And then it looks like it goes down. And then kind of goes like this. Kind of has a weird curve to it. Here. So kind of back here in this back shell, we can just make sure we have some thick black line. And then we'll do the antennas. So this first one is right here on the right. So it comes off a little bit right, right here. So the other one comes off like a little bit right there. take that five minute break, maybe 10 minutes, depends how wet your background is. Uh, we want everything to be completely dry and then when we come back, we're gonna focus in on putting in the reds of the shell um, and adding more details to the ladybug. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to focus in on the shell of the ladybug. So it's basically just red and then um, kind of darker shades of red to really give it some dimension. So that's what we're going to be focusing on. So I'm going to use that large flat brush, looks like this guy right here. Ooh. Just going to use regular solid red paint. Just kind of fill in. that show. red. Um, so like I said, we're going to actually do a couple different shades of red uh, to get this dimension. So all I'm going to be doing is just adding brown into red and that's going to make more of a maroon. So that's a really nice uh, darker red color that we're getting. And then I really want to make sure I get any of the darker colors kind of along the edges here. And then you want to get it right here in the middle and then you want to leave the two spots right here a little bit more of that brighter red. Uh, so now what I want to do is I want to make an even darker red. So this time I'm going to add a little bit of black to my mixture. Now black goes, goes a long way, so you don't want to use too much of it at a time. So definitely use it in small pieces. Bye. 
like you're going too dark with the different darker shades of red, you can definitely add in some more just solid red and even some orange in there to make it a little brighter. So I'm gonna get some orange right here in the middle. Get some more solid red in here. Good for now. Let's see. I'm gonna let that dry completely before I add um, a little bit more of even darker shades, um, just because it's really wet and it's kind of blending, kind of funky. Uh, so I want that to completely dry. So what I can do in the meantime is we can kind of totally switch gears and let's go ahead and put in all of our little circles throughout the space. Um, these are really fun, just a little extra detail. If you don't like them, you don't have to do them. If you want to do different colors, if your favorite color is pink or anything like that, and you want to do that instead, feel free to do any of that. So again, you're painting, you can create it how you want. I'm going to show you a technique, how to make a really nice circle. I'm going to start by using the small flat brush. And then I want to do that purple color, so I'm just gonna mix blue and red together. And it looks like it has more blue in it. So I wanna make sure I have more blue than red for my purple. And then it's kinda of just totally random. You can see there's a little bit up here at the top to kind of fill this out, and then a little bit kind of throughout. Uh, you can put in as many as you want, as little as you want, totally up to you. So um, the technique I'm going to teach you is you're going to actually take your brush and you're going to push it against your canvas and then you're just going to twist your brush to make a full circle. Kind of show you what I'm talking about. There we go. So voila, you have a really nice circle if you do it that way. So I'm going to do a couple of those throughout. Okay, and I think instead of yellow, I'm actually going to do a pink. I think that's going to be more fun. So to make pink, I'm just mixing some red and some white together. Alright, and then if you want to make bigger circles, you would use the larger flat brush. Just make sure you rinse it out really good and that it's nice and dry. Now I'm not going to do as many circles as the original here. I think it's kind of a lot going on. So I'm just going to do a couple big circles and call it a day. So same technique, just bigger brush. Then I'm just going to make a couple smaller circles. I'm going to switch to the large round brush for this and just how you make a traditional circle. Something kind of like that. Get your 
I'm gonna couple of these little guys. all that I want to do for the circles. I don't want to do too many. So if you want to kind of go nuts and put in all of these circles and do more than two colors, you totally can. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and put on a little bit of white, um, kind of on the top right here of the ladybug and then the top right here. Um, and then we're going to take another break. And then when we come back, we're going to kind of finish it up. And it looks like I am all out of white paint, so that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and just take a break first, uh, let everything dry, and when we come back, we will just continue on then. So go ahead and hit pause right there on your screen. have white paint this time uh, so what I'm going to do is just use that large brown brush and white paint and then I'm going to start with kind of looks like eyes it's these two dots right here so I just want to kind of real quick kind of figure out that looks pretty good something kind of like that doesn't have to be perfect all right, and then the bottom of that first shape, it looks like we have the nice kind of line going down here. Kind of like that, and it's a little thicker. So we're just gonna kind of thicken it up. second shape so you can kind of see it kind of looks like a square with a line and then like another square thing coming off of it. I just want to get this line going across kind of like that to make it a little thick. And then I'm just going to kind of follow this shape down. Kind of like that. So you want to follow the shape of your black kind of box that you have for your ladybug. black design going on right there. So what I want to do is I just want to kind of create something that's going to go about halfway, kind of in this middle spot. I don't want to leave empty. It looks like this is going to kind of curve. And we can touch this up a little bit later. So it doesn't have to be perfect. And then it looks like the other curve is going to be right around here. Follows the shape of the shell, kind of down this way. So we get, we have our big white pieces done. So what we want to do now is we can focus in on the gray highlights on the ladybug. So we have some highlights right here that are gray, kind of around here in this shape, on the antennas, on the legs. So to make gray, you can keep that white on your brush and you're just gonna add a little bit of black. Get a nice gray color. And then it looks like we have the highlight going on the top part like that. Same gray color, and we can put some on the legs 
isinya ini warna kertas A Now that we have um, some of those little details done, we can focus back on the shell of the ladybug. So I'm still going to use that uh, large round brush. I want to get a really nice dark red, so I'm going to use lots of black with that really dark red color. And then I just want to add in a couple of lines just to really accentuate the shape. Make sure you add water. Line, so we want to make sure we get that. We have this weird kind of um, curved shape going on up at the top here. Then we got our big circles with some highlights and some shadows on there. We'll make sure. And then we have a nice kind of black line in the middle to really show um, like the shell part because these do open up for the wings. So I'm going to keep using my large round brush and my black paint. And I want to start with this design up top. Um, and then when we come 
come back, we're just going to add in some last final touches, really some highlights, some shadows, some quick lines. It's going to be pretty quick, so we're almost done with our painting. Um, so be very excited. We're almost done with this lady in red. our small detail brush, that small little guy, and we're just going to put in the details. So I'm going to start with just white paint, and then I'm just going to put in some lines on some of my circles back here, just kind of like a two side, kind of like a C. Doesn't have to be totally perfect, just real quick. some gray lines kind of around the circle and then just a little bit around the shell and then you are done my friend so for gray again it's just black and white this is going to be a little bit of a darker gray so i'm going to use more black than white to get a really nice dark gray color and then i'm just going to throw in some gray and some white and any painting of course is to sign your name. I always like to use black paint. You can use whatever you want. Somewhere around the bottom, your initials, your full name, whatever you want to do. But there you are. You just created a beautiful painting. Thank you so much for painting with us Splash Studio Online with our Take and Make Kits. I hope you had a lot of fun and I hope this is really the best thing you have painted all day. So hopefully uh, you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends. Make sure you tag us um, on social media so that way we can like your painting. And then hopefully we'll see you again sometime.